You should change the batteries when low or flat warning tones are heard, or when a low or flat battery help message shows on the LCD display. The battery holder is located at the bottom of the controller. Using your fingernail or keyring tool, pull the battery holder out. If you have the tamper resistant battery holder, you will need to use a special keyring tool or blunt instrument to remove it as shown. Remove the flat batteries by tipping the battery holder to one side and pushing each battery out with your key ring tool. They slide out from one side only. The Freedom processor uses hearing aid sized batteries, alkaline or high power zinc air 675 batteries are recommended. You should let new zinc air batteries stand for a minute outside their packaging before you insert them. This activates them for use. Check with your implant centre or cochlear for a list of recommended brand name batteries. Silver Oxide S76 batteries can also be used. Silver Oxide batteries may perform better in humid and cold conditions, but they are less powerful. A lithium iron rechargeable battery is also available for the standard BTE controller and baby worn configurations, coming in a range of colours to match your processor. However, do not use standard rechargeable nickel metal hydride or nickel cadmium batteries. Your batteries should be stored at room temperature and away from moisture. Do not remove the tabs until the batteries are ready to be used. With the positive battery terminal and holes facing down, slide the fresh batteries into place. Push them in from the right hand side when viewed from the back of the battery holder. Do not force them into place, they should fit easily. Take care that all the batteries have the holes facing down. Your processor will only work for a very limited time if a battery is put in the wrong way and then all the batteries will need to be replaced. The bottom battery stands out a little from the battery holder. This is normal. Replace the battery holder as shown. The bottom battery will be correctly placed when the battery holder is inside the controller.